Just get myself to me. Are we shooting? Live? Well. Have, have you hit record on the camera? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, well, that's about as good as I get, kids. This is how we get the burning. Mm hmm. Bubba red bubba leather, bubba yellow bubba leather, red <laughs> leather, yellow leather. <laughs> <laughs> Mambo dog face to the banana patch. We gotta get into the zone, man. Uh, no. Yeah, this is the zone. Welcome, everyone, to Our Town Podcast. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, share if you can, and review if available. We'd love to hear from you, so comment below and tell us how we're doing. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to visit OurTownPodcast.com for all the links and join the members-only section of the website or sign up on Patreon. Now here are the boys of Our Town Podcast. Great returns. <laughs> A little golf clapping yes. for us, yes. Well, welcome everybody to another mm -hmm. yes. exciting edition of Our Town Podcast. Extraordinary. Did you say ex Coming exciting? to you from the uh, I Am Renton space yes. in yeah. beautiful, historic downtown Renton, yeah, Washington. Thank you, Mr. Lawrence. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, Co-owner of Whistle Stop, winner of two Best of Rent yes, Awards. Yes, very yeah. cool. Uh, do you know what the uh, the two categories were? I feel like it was Best Lunch and maybe Best Family Restaurant. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah, lunch is amazing over there, so no, yeah, definitely yeah. agree yeah. with that. Yeah. Uh, WhistleStopAleHouse.com for mm -hmm. more information. Go eat there today, right now. Do it. Do it. He probably has the best um, profile pick award too. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Is he still going top one? I don't Is know. it the Janet Jackson? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Jeff. <laughs> we keen, we keen. Uh, gentlemen, episode 72. Wow. wow. Oh, wow. calm down, boomer. Uh, <laughs> tonight's safe word, if in case anybody's not feeling safe for any reason, uh, uncomfortable, whatever, is Farfrig Nugan. Nice. Which, which, is, which is German for car, right? It's... It, Actually, driving pleasure. Oh, oh, so. right, right, right. Do, you know, do, do you know what uh, the German word for constipation is? <laughs> far from pooping. Far from nah, pooping. Nah, far, nah. far from far poop. from pooping. Yeah, far from pooping. Was a thing. It's a uh, yeah. I think Volkswagen. That was a Volkswagen that a, like <laughs> maybe BMW. Yeah. yeah. Was it the nineties that that had started? Jeez, I feel 90s. like it was the nineties. A long time uh, ago. And the, the BMW one's just slightly more pretentious <laughs> than that. It's like <laughs> the ultimate driving pleasure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like you wanna, it's yeah. all about pleasure. For those those Germans. Oh, they, oh, the Germans oh. and their pleasure mobiles. Oh, and you know what the word for like partying is? Fucking Gruden. Nice. Yeah. I know. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no rim shot. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Gentlemen, a ton of headlines uh, this yeah. past week. Uh, right after I sent out the show notes uh, earlier this week, uh, Todd let us know that Roger Corman yeah, died, geez, yeah. right. which is just crazy. Uh, but he wasn't a young man. He was late 80s. Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Uh, he, he's like the king of B films, man. I mean, he, yeah. Film films. Yeah, yeah. Back when it was shot on film. film. Yeah. He was making it happen. Oh, Known yeah. as uh, the Pope of Pop Cinema, hmm. the spiritual godfather of the new of new Hollywood, the king of the cult, and the king of the bees. Hmm. Uh, All his things. He, Never he, met a script he didn't want to produce. He, he's the one who gave us the, the first uh, Fantastic Four movie. Oh, in the 80s? The 90s. Was it the 90s when they did that? Yeah, it was like early 90s. Okay. That's a Roger Corman or it's his production company? It was. A, I think it was his. He directed it too, I think. Um, if there was only a way we could look at Like it the up. one with Chris Evans? No, no, no. Oh. The, the, the one that was made but not technically released in theaters, it was huh. released on DVD or VHS at one point. Jeez, I, I, I remember, remember that seeing happening. It, 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 it was, and yeah. it was, uh, you remember the movie The Boy That Could Fly? It was like a, like mm -hmm. a Disney afternoon kind of movie. Either way, there's, it was, he was the only actor in that that I recognized. Huh. And everybody else was like, 
you know, unknown as far as I know. Man. And, and, and it, was, it was just... Mr. Carter. So th- think, think, of the, think of the special effects that Sidney Marty Croft had. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very similar. It yeah, we're going to shoot a film this weekend. <laughs> I mean, he had, uh, I think he's got 453 no pro- producer way. credits on wow. IMDb. And a ton of director and writer like and stuff lot, like yeah. that. Yeah. He, uh, he directed hmm. Death Sport, I think, in the late 70s, early 80s. I don't yeah. know if you remember that one. And then uh, Mike you're probably familiar with this, but the Wild Angels with Peter Fonda. Yeah. That's the one where he was like, "What do we want? We want to get, we yeah, want to get loaded. We want to ride, ride our machines. We have to get hassled by the man." Yeah, he's on yeah, the point. Right. I, I had that on my uh, answering machine for years. He's, he's it, also and it's on a hunting record. It's yeah, on yeah, a yeah, super fun yeah. yeah. He's also the one that gave us a death race as well. Yeah. Death oh, yeah, yeah, with David yeah. Carradine. And, and, and Stallone. Yeah, and a uh, yeah, relatively young Stallone, right? Yeah. Pretty Rocky Stallone, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So all you uh, aspiring film uh, students and buffs yeah. and people that want to get a crazy movie made, your chances have just dropped a little bit. Be, before mm-hmm. Kevin Smith, it was Roger Corbin. Yeah. Yeah, the Smith does a-, a movies though, right? He's not making. He does a- now, but oh, like shit. when he first started, he, he, his first movie was Clerks, and that was all made because he maxed out three credit cards. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Holy moly! Well, rest in peace, Roger yeah. Corman. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for all the work. Thanks yeah, for man. all the work. Yeah. Now we're gonna see an influx of uh, Roger Corman movies and all the streaming sites. You hmm. know what's weird is I haven't seen a lot of news articles about his death. Just yeah, more about Steve Albini, to be yeah, honest, yeah, yeah. which surprises me. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, because Roger Corman would have been more of a I household mean, name. I would think. I mean, and his uh, films I, had boobs. I, I, I don't think he's a household name as much as you guys think. Mm. Um, but yeah, Roger Corman. Yeah. No, just that he's been around for so long, and yeah. people in Hollywood would have just it, known. Only people oh, yeah. that would really know who Roger Corman is are people who are really into into uh, like B- B- VHS movies, like B films, and yeah. like USA Up All Night played all of his movies. Nice so. scarecrow video kind of. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but he never to be sound like we're kind of hollow. Oh, uh, uh, what's going on? But he was not involved with trauma, right? The, no, that was uh, separate. Yeah, separate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the guys who uh, did the uh, the Galoob and or uh, uh, yeah, Golden. Geez, uh, yeah, yeah. What are those Toxic, Toxic Avenger. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Kind of, yes. Yeah. They're doing a new one of those, by the way. I don't see and, why and not. And Dinklage, yeah. I think, is part of it. Huh? Yeah, trauma. So that, yeah, yeah fair enough. Yeah. Uh, another celebrity, uh, Hollywood death, not a huge celebrity, but Susan Blacklini, I think I'm pronouncing her name right, uh, rest in peace. Her claim to fame, uh, first victim in the Jaws movie. Oh. She was the one that was out swimming. Yeah. Oh, she's the one who got her ribs um, broken. Um, oh, did she get a break, rib broken? Was she the one that was going back and forth in, in the water? I just remember, uh, it's been a while since I've seen Jaws, but she went skinny dipping and she mm. was out oh, yeah. swimming and she got out. pulled back and forth. Oh, and that's she, right. She did. She got her ribs broken because the uh, coordination of the people pulling her back and forth was off. Oh, so no. both sides were yeah. pulling at the same oh, time. Oh man, I hope she got a bonus. Yeah, yeah, extra ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sixteen weeks in pain. Her <laughs> other big movies. She had. She had a handful of credits on IMDb. Her other big credits are 1941. No, sure, it's a great uh, movie. Uh, yeah. And the Great Muppet Caper. Jeez. But I don't think she had. She went, big, she went big straight, big straight to the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then she did a lot of episodic. She was in an episode of uh, The Fall Guy, which oh, we talked uh, extensively about last week. So, hey, geez, what's her name again? Uh, Susan Blacklini, I oh. think is how you pronounce right. it. I, I didn't put it on. I, I added a few. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, so I'm, I'm looking at the show notes. It's not there. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. And speaking of Hollywood, uh, everybody's favorite green muscle man. Lou Ferrigno uh, uh, has a new movie coming out uh, where <laughs> it's a horror movie. It's a fun comedic movie uh, where he plays a cannibalistic pig farmer called the Hermit. Did you say comedic? Com- cannibalistic. Comedic. Oh, <laughs> oh before they get comedic. Uh, called the Hermit, uh, where two teenagers stumble upon his farm where he makes people jerky. 
Nice. <laughs> and he terrorizes God, them, wow. and hijinks yeah. ensue. Yeah. Uh, but it's okay because they are self-absorbed teenagers. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, just liberals, I hope he's doing I bet, okay. yeah. I bet you those, those teenagers are all liberals. <laughs> Probably. Liberals. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ferrigno had, I think they were like 25-inch arms back in the pumping yeah. iron days. But still didn't beat Arnold, No, because right? Arnold psyched him out. Yeah. Have you seen Pumping Iron? I haven't. I bring this up all the time. It's a brilliant film. Is it really? Oh, okay. And, and the competitive spirit, because they're all rated super right. dudes, right? No. But, uh, but, it, but there's still a competition. Yeah. Right? There really is. And it's weird to judge people on their bodies yeah. anyway. It's just like, who's going to do the body? Yeah. You know, when it should be Pam Anderson. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, of course it should. But it's totally neat to watch the psychological games at play. It's yeah. it is. It's okay. really neat. Yeah. It's worth seeing. Um, I worked it's in a place. A in, if, you, uh, if you're watching it for a reason. We had this, uh, and I can't remember his name, but he was a, a small dude, not a not a big dude, uh, kind of thin, and he was one of the sales guys. And uh, he was a buddy of one of the bosses. And uh, the boss and I went to uh, get a smoothie, like at a health food place. Okay. And yeah. uh, we we're, we're looking up at the pictures, and they've got the pictures of all the dudes that are just, boy, you know, just Arnold yeah. out. And he goes, take a look at that one. And I look over, and he goes, fuck, that guy looks familiar. Is that, that's so-and-so? And it was that guy that I worked with who had just ballooned up muscles yeah. back in the day and just yeah. had, you know. It's hard to maintain. Couldn't maintain it, no, so he just thing. went It takes back, like but, fucking 10,000 calories a oh day. Oh, my gosh. In like six nuts. hours. No yeah, yeah, just every day in the gym. Yeah. yeah. I mean. That's why I thinned out, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Uh, have you heard about the portal between New York City <laughs> and Dublin? <laughs> it's like a live video screen. It's like a Zoom call. Yeah. It's like a. Yeah. It's like an art sculpture, uh, but it's inside of it, it has a screen, yeah. and it sounds kind of cool. So you can look into the screen, yeah. and on the other side is Dublin, and the people there are looking to the screen. Yeah. So you get to see the homeless people walking by. Wow, well, you know, hey, sir. I mean, yeah, those that's poor people in Dublin are looking at New York, going, "Man, yeah, well, I can smell it through the screen." It's been shut down temporarily okay. uh, because there's been a lot of uh, hijinks associated with, like somebody. Was rubbing her butt on it, and oh some guy like mooned it. Um, <laughs> well. <laughs> mostly, it sounds like it was shut down because an OnlyFans model flashed uh. Dublin. And then when asked about it, she thought, I think I thought the people of Dublin des deserve to see my two New York homegrown potatoes. <laughs> cute. <laughs> potato. <laughs> potato. Oh, yeah, it's like cute. a 24 hour but Zoom. But that shut the whole thing down? I guess. People, people were kind of abusing it. And I, I guess, guess somebody this in... This is Earth. Did they not realize where they were? Somebody <laughs> in <laughs> Dublin was, was paying it back by showing pictures of 9-11 through the thing. Oh, and man. It's like, <laughs> That took it that, a dark that, place. That's why I got taken you down. You went yeah. too far yeah, with yeah. that one, man. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with boobs, dude. Yeah. There's something nah, wrong with share the boobs. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's a country full of Catholics, man. What do you expect? Sure. Yeah, it's hard to equate the two, though, yeah, so yeah, yeah, hopefully yeah. that wasn't... But if she okay. gave uh, Dublin a free peek, I think she should give Renton a free peek. Yeah, so yeah we need a Please Renton go portal. ahead and uh, <laughs> send a video or a uh, coupon to get into your yeah, OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how that works. Yeah, they have Groupons <laughs> for that. <laughs> Groupons, yeah. <laughs> oh, Todd, what? you're going to see the Transformers. I, uh, I went and saw it last night. Oh, it was last oh, night already. And, right and I was thinking it was going to be the movie, but it was. it turns out... It was the first four episodes of the series. Oh. And, the, and the, what was cool was the first episode, they re-recorded it with uh, the classic actors that are still alive hmm. and a couple new people who replaced the ones who aren't alive anymore. And so we had like a side-by-side -side of uh, the, the cartoon itself from 1984 and then the actors who played like Optimus Prime, um, Megatron, and, and a bunch of other characters. Hmm. So it was really, that was cool. I was, yeah. But I was expecting... <laughs> That's what it was the movie. movie from yeah, that. I did yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah, was it advertised as the movie or? I, I mean, you know, maybe I just like I saw it and I was like, oh, the movie, cool. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah it yeah. was advertised. I thought as an anniversary special, okay. but yeah. I thought it was for the movie. Yeah. yeah, I did too. And then the, when I looked at it again, I was like, it, it said the the, the 40th anniversary, which would have been 1984, which 
is the series. Uh, okay. The movie. Okay. The movie. Yeah. Um, I would say eighty-seven. Eighty-six. Oh, like all right. August of eighty-six. Huh. Are we honking yeah, at us? Guy. I don't know. Somebody yeah, no, in the way. Mad at this yeah. guy. Who's this mad guy, at he doesn't guy. know how to, like... <laughs> these guys are all right in the block, dude. Come <laughs> on. Oh, my gosh. And Get you got another way. 10 feet. Yeah. Don't act like you're not involving everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Not humans. Oh, jeez. Take well, that, uh, Dublin. So, yeah. Speaking of the Transformers... Uh, I saw that story. Yeah. <laughs> some lady was trying to use Transformers to smuggle drugs out oh, of Tha- uh, Thailand. Um, she he had these big uh, Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and a guy I didn't recognize. Greenlight? I don't remember who Greenlight is. I don't, I, I don't know who Greenlight is. He's yeah. the drug dealer transformer. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's it's, me. maybe, maybe he was in one of the Michael Bay movies and was a background uh, character or something. Yeah, because these were, these were uh, big prop pieces that were supposed to be going to a film, uh, like a movie uh, uh, gala or so something, annoying. and they put a bunch of ketamine in uh-huh. the Man. feet yeah. of these things. Uh, 700 pounds. They 700, were trying, 700 pounds. pounds. Oh, she's going to die yeah, in a yeah, tight yeah. prison. Yeah. And oh, I guess uh, she paid $4,000 to this company oh. to transport these things. And that's what kind of threw up the red flag as these guys yeah. were like, oh, something's not yeah. you know, kosher oh, here. Uh, they were going to Taiwan. Of course, the Thai, the Thai folks, the government officials are like, oh, no, this all originated in Cambodia. <laughs> okay, I, I did not yeah, know this. Rough. I didn't know that bot had a name Greenlight, but this, this, it's a one of the female Transformers from mm-hmm. Generation One. Giggity. Oh. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> uh, there I, you go. Yeah. Jeez, it's very. Yeah, I don't know. Female. Very uh, Fritz Lang's Metropolis there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Jeez, yeah. that's a lot of drugs. That's a lot of and drugs. And ketamine's a prescription drug as well, right? I think so. so. People are, I think like, people are using it as a recreational drug now. But do you know what it I does for you? I think it kind of just is a... I think like a numbing. Isn't it, isn't it like a, a synthetic heroin? No, 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 no. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to act like I do because I don't. Okay. But, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not a big... Yeah. No, or, uh, but Thailand has become a very large uh, sort of base of operations for a lot of drug smuggling um, operations. So, I hear that. Yeah, it's bad because Thailand's a, a cool country. And the it is, there. and it brings violence. Yeah. Guaranteed because it brings weird underground money and underground nasty yeah. shit. Well, speaking of underground money and nasty shit, uh, Mickey D's has taken a financial hit um, because of the rising prices. They've had to ri- mm. raise their prices because now they have to pay more livable wages to their people. Well, and they I haven't get, had to. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. They, okay. they and have again, I think done supply that. costs really have gone Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I looked up what, what ketamine oh. is. It, ketamine is a dissociative anesthetic that is has some hallucinogenic effects. Oh. Mm. It distorts perception of sight and sound and makes the user feel disconnected and not in control. <laughs> All right. Um, so where can we find this? <laughs> well, what part of Thailand exactly? In the shoe of a transformer uh, in Thailand. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, so uh, do you remember the $5 foot long that Subway tried to do to yeah. get people to come in? McDonald's is considering doing a $5 meal thing to get uh, more people in because right now I mean their biggest audience was uh, lower middle class uh, lower income folks middle class but when you start raising your you know your Big Mac meal to yeah. like 15 or 17 uh, bucks is it you know, really? I don't yeah. know what it is yeah. but it's not cheap yeah. right especially if you do the super size and all that yeah if you go large, to pay that much you get large fry large drink it's like 17 bucks that's, that's crazy and that's just getting it out the store. Never mind if you do like door or delivery or whatever. Oh, it's, yeah. it adds another ten bucks. Yeah, but that extra ten bucks goes to the delivery, not to McDonald's. Right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, still, that shit's expensive right now. Yeah, it, it really is. is. It really is. So they're they're thinking about doing a five dollar meal. So what you would get is a either a McChicken, a McDouble, or a four four piece nuggy. Hmm. The four piece is like what they give you in the children's meal, Kinda. right? That doesn't yeah. seem like much. Then you get a fry and a drink, and I didn't say how big. It's probably a medium fry. This is what drink, they used to have. They used to have on the dollar menu. You could get the, the McDouble and uh, for a dollar, and you can yeah, get a fry for a dollar, and, and then you can get any yeah. size drink for a dollar. And I think it's three bucks. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But when? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, because I mean, every 
something goes up, right? That's kind of just the yeah. nature of corporate business. Corporate greed right? is all this. Corporate business. greed is it's certainly part of it. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. yes, yes, and yeah. yes, and yes. Because God forbid we lose a few dollars in profit. <laughs> well, <laughs> because, because we're they are beholden yeah, to, to their at shareholders. any cost yeah. chase profits. Yeah. Right? They're beholden to their shareholders because that is their number one mandate. Yeah. Not to be ethical, not to be good for the United States, not to be good for whatever. It's to right. make money, yeah. to, to profit if for shareholders. Buy cheaper beef that's still. Yes. passes yeah. whatever minimum standard, yeah. they'll do it if they can. Yeah. It's so weird to me that we've been taught that it's okay to to cut everything else except that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's weird to me. It really is. Yeah. Quality is job one here at Our Town Podcast. Yes, so if you really like McDonald's but you can't afford it, hang on. Hopefully this $5 meal will come for you at some I point. Guess. And it is know. a meal replacement, remember? It's yeah. not food. It's not. It's really not. It's, it's, it's not. supposed to be an occasional it's processed. Yeah, thing. Yeah. It's not an everyday. Yeah. It's not. Uh, what was the guy that did the <laughs> super, super size me? me. Yeah. Yeah. Morgan Spurlock or whatever oh, his name call. was. Yeah. yeah. It's not. Uh, I still have never seen that. And I don't really want to. Yeah. I don't need him ruining McDonald's for me. Sure. <laughs> and it was specifically McDonald's. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 he ate a Big Mac every day. Oh, for like that's a month. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah huh. Didn't he start doing like eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner there? Yeah. We did an article uh, on a guy who did. He had oh, the like guy, 30, the Big Mac guy. Big Macs yeah, yeah. Some and astounding he was healthy because he did. He like, exercised yeah. a lot yeah, too. Yeah, he walked but, to his welcome. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah. it was an astounding number. It was. <laughs> 20,000 yeah. Big Macs or yeah. some crazy thing. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of eating too much uh, yeah. fast food, uh, there was a person recently, uh, Rick Slayman, uh, 62, uh, received a genetically modified oh, yeah. pig that kidney. That's a huge deal. That's a huge deal. And he died two months later. Yeah. Um, the pig kidney was because a lot of people are sitting waiting on the donor list. Oh, yeah. And they'll never get it because there's just too many people. And it's hard to match them up. Why was it exactly. modified, though? Uh, to make it more uh, there's conducive. There's a certain thing. There's yeah. a protein or something in pigs, in, a, in humans that kick out a lot of other things. They, that's the rejection thing. And there's specifically something in pigs that's kept us from being able to do this. Okay. But now they uh, have these, like, genetically the- modified pigs that don't have... I heard an article on... Uh, the NPR or the, the NPR. NPR. Yeah. And this wasn't a this wasn't NPR. a permanent replacement, Todd. This was a temporary replacement. The doctors thought they would last probably about two years. No. Oh. And that would give him enough time that his number would come up where yeah. he could get a even with a human, human one the most you're getting is ten. Yeah. I, I think ten's almost unheard of. Yeah. Uh Danny's uh stepmom uh had gotten and I don't remember if it was a liver or a kidney. I think it was a liver. Um, and she she got it, and uh, she lasted probably 12 Jesus years Christ. or so. No, um, she had to always take those drugs yeah. because the you know the, the, the rejection anti-rejection or whatever, yeah. drugs, whatever yeah. it is. But then she went on to do stuff, and not picking on you, I won't mention her name, um, but continue to drink wine, continue oh, yeah. to you know well, not wine's live good healthy. <laughs> Well, not yeah, that much yeah, wine. A glass of wine a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, yeah. Not that much wine, but that was one of the conditions. Like, yeah, you really shouldn't do yeah. these things. And like, well, I'm living my life, man. So. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. My best, yeah, no, Stephen, yeah, Stephen as well. So, and he's four into it, like three or four into it. Stephen. A uh, climber. Oh, yeah, Mary did, oh. Yeah, because yeah, Mary gave uh, Stephen a kid. That's right. Yeah. 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 Right the kidneys are amazing. And I didn't really think about kidneys until that whole process was going on. Mm-hmm. They are incredible. Mm-hmm. They are. They do so much work. And they make the pee-pee. Yeah. But they do, they do so much in a tiny... I mean, they're not, they're not even this big. It's goofy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Kidney pie. Yeah. Well, speaking they stay of... stay crunchy and melt. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> speaking <laughs> of kidney pie, oh. uh, Mormons are changing up their missionary game. So... Is that a... Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, so uh, instead of... Because uh, Mormons, they're re- sort of required by the church when they reach a certain age. They, they're supposed to 18, go somewhere yeah. mm-hmm. for like a year, a year. or two years uh, and year. try I, to I, spread the word I, of... I had a friend of mine who... Uh, Went on his mission. Okay. And he he would send me letters when he was I think he was in Oklahoma. Sure. He goes, Hey Todd, you know this is my first week in doing missionary. This is an example of what I've dealt with in the last week. Hi 
Hi, my name is Slam. <laughs> Hi, my name well, is Slam. Like Slam. Yeah. Have you heard the game clunk? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, he has the right to knock, and somebody's yeah, got a right not to answer. Not to answer. Right? That's kind of my mom, because uh, <laughs> she was uh, not working anymore, and dad was at work all the time. Uh, used to have there was a Mormon missionary house around the corner from their Bonnie Lake place, <laughs> and the boys would come over, you know, a few times a year, and she would let them in. They would just sit and chat. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I'm not. I'm an Episcopalian. I'm not going to convert so to Mormonism. Like but some cookies I'll or take something. your book. You yeah. know. And you yeah, no, I, nice uh, my mom did that with a nice J-Dub lady that used to come around. Yeah. And I've had the, uh, the Mormon kids come by, and they were nice. And then my dad, like, puts them to work. <laughs> He'll make them, like, stack wood, like cords of fucking wood and shit. That's like that. awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking In their, right. in right. their white shirts people. and tie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, why do young people to work? Because that's what young people are for, for that sake. The last time I dealt with... Uh, with uh, uh, Mormons that came to my came to my mom's door and uh, and we said hey, no, no thank you uh, have a nice day and they said oh can we use your bathroom and, you know yeah go ahead you know so when they were in there they didn't actually use the bathroom I don't think they just went in there and left a couple of pamphlets on the counter <laughs> I called them I said you know what no that's not okay we told you no we're not interested why the fuck would you leave that stuff behind they're just offering you some extra toilet Is paper it, yeah yeah I- yeah, yeah, I would. I would definitely use it as part of. Actually, yeah. no, it's like cardstock. Nah, would, that would, nah, that would yeah, be, yeah, yeah. You would get paper cuts on your sphincter, man. I'm not picking on you, Mormons. You I am. Crazy Fuck religious. you guys. Uh, yeah. Well, they're going to change up their their ways. The thought now is to do more social media outreach, uh, uh, yes. more internet, because so people be are. Yeah, they're not going to. They're going to slam yeah. the door in your face. So they're trying to rework the way they handle their business. They're going to become internet trolls. Yeah, you know? maybe. Mm. Yeah. They're, they're going to go. Into to all the atheist groups on Facebook oh and start proselytizing to them. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, geez, I don't know. We do have freedom of religion, but we also have freedom of, from, from religion. Yes, yeah. we do, and one, that's fine. And one, that's of my fine. Favorite, one of my favorite Facebook groups is, is a group called People Against White Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's mostly memes about, you know, um, people who are like, you know, or, or it's screen captures of people, you know, being assholes or whatever, and, and you know, just, there's nothing, there's no, there's no love like Christian, or no, there's no hate like Christian love. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> my, one of my favorites is where it's a picture of Ewan McGregor as Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all the wall and everybody just kind of assumes it's a picture of Jesus. No, there, there, was a, there was a meme going around saying, I'm, I'm slowly slowly replacing all the photos in the house of Jesus with, with all the one can know and waiting to see how long before my mom realizes yeah. what I've yeah. done. Yeah, I mean, so he, it's a stand-in. He's got it. Right? He's got it. Uh, I think we should, we should have one of those in the studio that you're building. Nice. We should have sure. a Ewan McGregor. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah. I mean, photo. he's on the top ten most delightful human beings. Oh, I'm sure. Time, right? yeah. oh, everybody likes that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Last, last, last year at SummerCon, his uncle was there. You know, the guy who, uh, uh, who was one of the pilots in the, in the original movie. Okay. Um, Biggs, I think? No, not Biggs. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, his, uh, the his, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's that's, that's his uncle. uncle. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did not know that. Yeah. Right on. Right I on. found that out a couple years ago. Huh. All right, so you may get uh, a Mormon chiming into your, slipping into your DMs anytime. Nice. <laughs> I, I, I have my block button ready Handy. to go, man. Uh, speaking of block, into that mission. <laughs> speaking of block button, uh, Miss USA and Miss Teen USA have hmm. both resigned their posts. Oh. Um, it, it, I don't know exactly what it was, but there's uh, apparently a lot of harassment and bullying from the executives that run the pageant. Yeah. Uh, scum and villainy. Scum and villainy Are you going kidding on. Me? Um, so much so that now a, a lot of the staff has left too. And they're wow. like, we're not. Wow. Are those not related? Uh, are the Teen USA and Miss USA? Yeah, same organization. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't, that, isn't that the one that's owned by Trump? Formally owned by Trump. Um, I don't think he owns uh, it anymore. I, I, it, it just boggles me that these are still a thing. I would say it's still in business, Todd, so it's probably not owned mm-hmm. by Trump. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, good point. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Oh my God, so weird. It's yeah. so weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, so look up more. I apologize. I was going to follow up more on that story, but it sounds like the uh, the gal, the Miss, uh, Miss USA took a sort of a bullying beating if you will and just said i'm i'm done i'm screw this it's not worth it and then miss teen usa i think got wind of it and said well that's not happening for me either and yeah. so she yeah. dropped out, Get out of yeah. 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 and i think yeah. one is the first venezuelan american miss usa and the teen is like maybe uh indian american mm. so a uh, very lovely lady so yeah, it's good a shame. For sticking together yeah. yeah good for them yeah, yeah it's a trip. i mean yeah don't put up with that kind of crap man yeah well speaking of bowling boys oh. uh a <laughs> former garfield yeah. high school just oh. up the street from us oh. and i almost went to garfield but uh they sued the school district because he was trying to raise awareness about bullying hmm. oh and they told him he needed to keep his mouth shut because they didn't want the press. So they came up to him and like, yeah, you don't, you're not going to go talk to any reporters. You're not allowed to do that. This is school So he got business. bullied because he wanted to talk about bullying. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. He, he went and sued the school district. Uh, he yeah. got bullied into keep, keeping quiet, and he won a 125K judgment uh, nice. against Garfield High School, oh, which man. is crazy. Yeah, Seattle uh, School District, by the way, through mostly, I don't know, uh, is like a hundred million dollars in the hole. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so we're going to close 20 schools suddenly. Oh, my God. <laughs> were you Seattle School District? <laughs> no, I was right. Were you Seattle School District? Is it Oh, well. I did Seattle School District uh, until fifth grade, and then, of course, I went to Catholic school, and I was going to go to Garfield. My sister went to Garfield, hmm. but I started hearing that they had a freshman day where they all the seniors and juniors would go beat up oh, all like, the freshmen. Like Daisy Confused? Kind of like Daisy and Confused. Uh -huh. And I'm like, nah, fuck that. And then mom was really pushing for me to go to the Catholic high school because my brother was already there and, and most of my friends from... Which is O'Day? What's O'Day, a, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I ended up my going there instead. Uh, it's all boy school. Oh, wait. No, she went to another Holy Catholic names. school. Holy Names? Is the twin yeah. to it, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Holy Names, or well, there's one over in yeah, Bell. Do you know Artie Guthman? It, it was up in North Seattle. That sounds familiar. Yeah, he went to OD. He was hysterical. It, it, was, that guy. it was up in North Seattle. Oh, Blanchett? Probably Blanchett. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah. Had some buddies that went there out of St. Joe's is where I was yeah. on Capitol Hill. But uh, that's how what year did he graduate? Probably, probably 88, 89, right around. So man. he would have been, uh, yeah. I don't think he was in my class, uh, but maybe a year behind or a year ahead. Yeah, he was a kick in the pants. Okay. <laughs> Nice, yeah. So, uh, yeah, what a what a crazy turn of it. I didn't realize they were a hundred million dollars in the hole. <laughs> yeah. So they're really yeah. gonna start. Oops. Oops. Shutting down. Yeah. And if property values are higher than ever, yeah, which means their income, yeah, is higher than ever. Where did that money go? Right. Huh. Yeah. Are they gonna start yeah. selling off schools? And I don't know. Try to I don't know. It's a trip to me. Man. I don't get it. And I just see a lot of new control. And this is not just school districts. And God bless school districts. We have free education. Yeah. Right? Which is what it is. That's how you break the glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. But uh, that being said, waste, fraud, and abuse is a problem in yeah. all things. Right? So, yeah. I don't know. I'm a little sus. If yeah. You say. Jeez. Sus is totally sus. <laughs> well, uh, sus. Speaking of waste, fraud, and abuse, uh, yeah. do you remember the gal that did the rebuttal speech to Biden's State of the Union, Katie yeah. Britt? Yeah, who yeah. seemed like kind of a robot. Yeah, she a, seemed like a Stepford yeah. wife yeah. in the yeah. thing. Well, she's lot. come out with a new bill in the Senate that she's trying to get, and it's uh, actually been co-sponsored now by like Marco Rubio and some others. <laughs> um, it would create a national database of pregnant women. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Well, for them, yeah. it's... For, uh, for smaller government, Todd. <laughs> because they believe in smaller government. So they want, yes, half of the population. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. So how, she, how says, do... she says it would be yeah. so that they can help track the pregnant women so that they can reach out to them with yeah, we resources. Wanna we want to help. from the government. We want to help. I thought that was the that worst was their thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. Wait that a minute. Was their thing. How are 
What? That doesn't so, make that means so, divorce. You won't be able to get a divorce. Right. You won't be able to, I'm telling you. This dude. is Handmaid's oh, Tale. Man, it's a slippery Big time. fucking uh, slope. This is Handmaid's Tale. With the guns. Tale. Yeah. I have not With watched. the guns. Yeah. Oh, no, it's insane. Um, so, and what's her name again? Uh, Katie Britt. All right. Alabama. What the fuck is wrong oh, with this? Oh, of course people? she's from Alabama. That, so, that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah. the thought for them, and it's called Moms, it's called. Uh, I had it in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, no. Mother something. Uh, anyway, um, it, it's supposed to be so that they can give uh, you know advice on on pregnancy, where they can uh, give you, you outreach services, services uh, yeah, adoption yeah. services. In yeah. case you're considering nothing on abortion, of services. course, but you adoption mean for the services. Same people that are taking away women's rights, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would create a yeah, yeah. How, how's Bama on uh, like prenatal same, care for women? Right. These, these are the same people that like. I think that if you're if you're you know if you're getting food stamps and are are in DSHS in any way shape or form you're a burden on the country. Fuck yeah. those guys. Yeah, no, they immediately want to cut services. Of course they do. Yeah. Any kind of safety net thing. No, it's a weird control of women thing. Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah. And we want it's to help so you that you're like not you don't want people to have these other services that are helpful. Yeah. yeah. That no, that just pisses me right off. And, and where is their root in a oh, oh, go ahead. This option. No, 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 go ahead. Well, where is the root of their anti abortion stance? It's not no. biblical. No. It is not biblical. It's so really where not. is it coming from? It's no. I, it's interesting. I don't know. It's, I don't know. it's dangerous, but it's also interesting to me because it's made well, up. They think, they think that people are using uh, it as a contraceptive. Like, oh, I got pregnant this weekend. I have to go get rid of it tomorrow. Yeah. They think that's how people are. That's yeah. not at all what's going on, but no. okay. No, and to them, it doesn't matter if it's a rape or an incest. Yeah. Right? It's because all of a sudden this potential life, not not a life, but a, a potential, uh, is certainly more important than everybody else. Yeah. They're also, I think in Louisiana, trying to change the uh, medications that you would take that are included in like the morning after pill. Yeah. Making no. those a controlled substance. No, I think those aren't morning after. Those are for medical, because uh, med medical abortions. Oh, stuff that you would use yeah. in, uh, yeah. the doctors would use. It's a use. twin drug Yeah. For uh, safe and uh, right. uh, medical yeah. abortions. Yeah, you're right. It's you're right. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. It's uh, bonkers. It's bonkers. And they think that everybody is out there just celebrating the death of these just, potential. Yes, because uh, we're just sucking people, on the it's so teat of weird, adrenochrome dude. or yeah. whatever it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adrenochrome. adrenochrome. <laughs> yeah, you got some. Well, it's, adrenochrome yeah. and ketamine, dude. You got some we're going to fucking party. I need some now. Um, here's another weird, oh weird God. thing. And this was like a subtle add to it. They want to change the mechanics of child support to begin at conception. Hmm. But the reason for that is so that they can change the language in in the uh, uh, documents as child uh, from previously born or, or something. unborn child. <laughs> unborn, yeah. That's so un child to unborn child, because that'll make it easier yeah. to change the law surrounding what sure, affects sure, a sure. fetus. Yeah. You know, when but you then, change it to a child. That we don't talk about with Roe v. Wade. They spent years and years and years trying to figure out what, you know, what was the standard for what made a living yeah. citizen. Yeah. Right. And that was viability was the standard, right? And could this being survive possibly outside of the mother's womb? Right. Right. So that was the kind of standard they went to. Yeah. So now that's no longer a thing. Yeah. yeah. Right? Oh man, my brain hurts over this. It's bonkers. <laughs> it's oh, bonkers. It's absolutely so you better hope that the alien face huggers don't come down because they're not going to be able to take it out of you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you oh, can't God. abort that thing. Uh, weird, weird. Oh my god! And, and just the idea of weird right wingers putting you into a database shit. Right, it just should, freaks the fuck out. You should think about me. that. Yeah. Yes, I don't know. It's weird. I, I feel bad for young do people you, right now. Do you now. think they're doing that because you know uh, people want to have a, a a list for people who are gun owners? You think it's kind of an answer to that, or no, no, no. this is uh, a women control thing. Yeah, for sure. yeah. yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they want like nurses and doctors to in school nurses to record back when yeah. a girl have to report. has a menstrual oh, yeah. cycle. Yeah, right. Oh man, it's just it's nuts. Creepy it's nuts. assholes is what they are. Yeah, indeed, it's Todd. Trippy. Um, it's trippy. Lighter news, boys. Oh. Lighter news. Yeah, hey, yeah, I don't yeah. know if you saw this. Is a pellet cleanser. 
Jones are now trying. Really funny. Uh, I remember a year ago or so, and I think we talked about this on the show, yeah. where this Chinese zoo had these sun bears, and everybody thought they were humans in the suits. The bear suits. The bear yeah. suits. Yeah. Well, a Chinese zoo has painted little chow dogs black and white to make them look like little panda no, bears. they did not. <laughs> oh, my God. Passing you can off. only see them from like 100 yards away. Passing. But you could tell because they run up to the thing yeah. and they're wagging their tail. <laughs> they're cute as hell. Oh my God. You got to go see it. The panda well, dogs. Yeah. Uh, they're nice. little chow dogs, but they they're cute as hell. They should have just been honest about because people don't come to see that anyway, right? right? It's like, look at the cute little chow chow. Oh my God, China. Come on. Oh my Do God. better. I don't know. I, uh, I think they run a risk. Remember the lead paint thing? Somebody died. Because somebody got executed because of the lead paint and toys a few years ago. Oh, Remember they, yeah. there was this thing, the Chinese firm yeah. used lead paint when they weren't supposed to to make it's it cheaper. Kid toys. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are chewing on it. Make my melamine. But they put melamine in dog food, yeah, remember? Because like, it, it uh, comes up as an amino acid or something. <laughs> so it almost looks like a protein. It's like, oh my God. And, but, yeah. that's, and, but that's greed. Yeah, it right? really is. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, greed. Yeah. Greed yeah. is bad. Greed yeah. is not good. No. My God. Oh. Well, speaking of greed. Uh, Tommy Greed is the Tommy worst. Greed. Tommy uh, Greed. In China also, there is a EV vehicle called the Seagull. Have you seen this? It's mm. a small little electric car. And it poops everywhere. And it poops everywhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it steals your food. And, and it steals your food. Oh, and, 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 I, and, I, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess it. The, the horn sounds like mine, 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 mine. <laughs> They have sold three million wow. in the last year around the world no. and in China. Three million in China. It retails for ten thousand dollars U.S. Oh. Ten grand is well, it? I, is that a lot in China? I have no. Idea. Well, in U.S. dollars, oh. right? It would be ten if we converted. It would be ten thousand. Oh, sure. Right. Uh, they yeah. think it would be more like twelve grand here because of shipping costs. But uh, we also have like a twenty-seven point five percent tariff. I think on. we just put a tariff yeah. on it like a couple. Yeah. Of Days ago. Oh, again? Just executive order. Yeah, no, Joe Biden just, oh, just good, recently. Oh, good, good. Yeah. But Detroit really needs to take a look at this because it is a uh, really economical car. They've really thought about the design and production of it. Like, instead of having uh, two windshield wipers where it requires two motors, it's got one windshield wiper to make it lighter and more efficient cheaper, easier to build, stuff like that. It's got like a, I had to look it up. It's like a 252 mile range That's on one, on a charge, yeah. which is That's really plenty. good. That's um, they cost about 21 K in South America after all the import stuff. Mm -hmm. But could you imagine buying a brand new EV for $21,000? Yeah, I mean, you can't I mean, buy any new car really for that. Not can that you? I'm aware of, yeah. Not that I'm aware uh, of. I don't know if that's, but I, I don't know. I mean, does it follow the same uh, NTSB uh, safety system? That would all have I to be know. looked at. Crash zones and all so that. So people kind of, of you know, yeah. organizations here in the U.S. have bought them, brought them here, tore them all apart to yeah. figure out. Naturally, China has lower labor costs. Uh, they are much better at building batteries than we are here in the United and States. They set up the infrastructure. They got we're the just infrastructure. Slow. We're the just so game, far behind. Oh my God, it's so dumb. It's dumb, man. But it is what it is. So, in but President Biden's really trying to turn that around. Yeah. I mean, hundreds of billions of dollars invested, right? Yeah. And the unions are in because they just forced Ford and I think GM it? to do unionized. Uh, electric car factories, I just, right? So, yeah. so we're on the upswing in such things. I and just, I'm 1,000% pro-tariff. I really am. We, we, we paid for everything in the United States for 100 plus years. I, we didn't I, need an internet. I just saw so this on, to, on, on um, social the media. Geo, I think that might be the one from India. Yeah, oh, geez, I don't know. That's, that's a thing. So it's just a little this, car. I, I'd crash this that. Car is, <laughs> Uh, it's not even really a car. It's a mobility scooter with, yeah. with, with sides and a top. Well, it's basically a mobility scooter that's enclosed. It has lights and a bumper. And, you know, I think it's not street legal. It's it, I think it only does like 40 miles an hour. Hmm. Yeah. I know Tesla at one point promised a cheaper version sure. and it hasn't delivered. Hmm. I, I, you know. Right now they are kind of luxury, right? Right. But, 
I, and I'm not being isolationist here, but I do want to support, you know, American workers oh, yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah, we yeah, need yeah. to build Especially that, to, something yeah. like that here. Yeah, but we have to get the chips and all that other stuff. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a slow go that we, because we got sold out from Reaganomics. Yes. Right? Yes. So all that stuff got sold out from us. So that it's going to take a minute to get it back. That and NAFTA, And we got right? a bunch of 900-year-old dumbasses in our policymaking yeah. centers, right? Yeah. No offense to old people, because I am an old people, but... uh. We got to be looking towards okay, the future, even though we are old people. I, I know. Okay, boomer. We're fledgling. Boomer old, humor. We're fledgling old people. Yeah, hey. I'm creaky, yeah. and I just the <laughs> amount of fatigue I feel. I'm like, man, yeah. it's annoying. And uh, part of that's because humans are dumb. Yeah, we're, I was talking to my. I'm old and tired. Talking to my son today, and he went down to the old cannery mm-hmm. in Sumner, which is like a furniture, home goods oh, yeah. kind of thing. And every Christmas they would have a Santa Claus down there, and it was free. So I would always take him down. Down, get his Santa picture on, stuff like that. And we were talking about, he's, he's like, yeah, it's the same Santa Claus that was down there when I was a kid. And I'm like, holy shit. And I'm doing the math, right? Carry the one. He's been down there for like 30 years, not 30 years, but he's been down there for like 20 yeah. years doing this thing. Yeah. I said, how old is the guy? He's like, he's in the 80s now. And I'm like, let's do the math again. and be 60. Can you be Santa Claus at, in your 50s? Yeah. And I was like thinking about it and going, Wait, yeah, if I had a longer beard. Yeah. And some, you yeah, know, round yeah. specs he, he, and Kenny a Rogers Santa and suit. Or Santa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could totally be Santa Claus. He could be the Kenny Rogers Santa Claus. I could. Oh, yeah, no, it's it's my chicken, chicken in. Get, get, uh, get, a, uh, get a Santa Claus <laughs> themed Stetson, yeah. you know? And nice. I think Kenny Rogers has had a good. top ten song in the, each of the last seven decades. Or Are something. you serious? No, the guy's Jeez, unstoppable. Yeah, because he was yeah. in that band oh, in the pass? 60s. He passed yeah. like a couple oh, years ago. Yeah. Did, yeah. I don't remember the band. He was the rat, not the raspberries. No, he was in. Uh, uh, oh, jeez! I uh, just dropped in to see what condition my condition is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember the name. I can't think of it either. But it was oh, acid God. rock yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got some acid rock for you, bro. Well, uh, going back to this EV thing, uh, Trump held a meeting at Mar-a-Lago with oil execs, yeah. and the oil execs apparently, you yeah. know, talked about how they've been lobbying the Biden administration with hundreds of millions of dollars, which I hate m- get money out of politics. Yeah, big time. It's called bribery. But Trump said, "Hey, give yeah. a hundred, give a billion dollars yeah. to my campaign." Campaign, yeah. and I'll make it Sell happen for you. Yeah, uh, and in here, it's yeah. so gnarly. no, it's insane. But that's the teapot. Isn't the teapot scandal? Teapot kettle scandal. You know what I'm talking about? No. It was a scandal. I don't know, bro. A hundred years ago, same fucking thing. Well, right? Yeah, Over somebody was basically yeah, yeah. bribing. Just one, yes. Just a big. But yeah, he's asking got, for the yeah, bribe. I think a guy went to. Yeah, he's oh, asking for the bribe. I don't know. Yeah. And yeah. we are already producing. We are the largest oil producer on the planet. Oh, right and now. We are, yeah, the United States, and we're producing more than we've ever produced ever. We export most and, of it, though, right? Oh yeah. Which well, is a weird thing. It's a world, but it's a world market because yeah, we're part of that yeah. same state. Because remember, before, and that's how OPEC did what they did. Is we didn't have a world where you all sell it into the pool, right? Right, and then. Because that stabilizes that's why it was so, the market. Yeah. Uh, insincere when Palin was like, "Drill, baby, drill," and let's build the yeah, pipeline yeah, and all it, that stuff. It, it's it, not staying here, no, folks. No, no. It, unless we want to get out of that deal, we could yeah, which but we that's could, not what I they guess. would do. No, and because we're supposed to be get away from oil. But and, and so I just learned the other day that the world banks, big not the world bank, but huge banks, yeah. have invested since like 2020, yeah. nine point seven trillion dollars into yeah. petrochemicals. Into oh basically the burn the, the yeah. It's like so all this greenwashing dog shit is just lip service and it really sad me. Nine point seven trillion that they could have put anywhere. Yeah. They could have put that into advanced capacitors, they could have put that into uh, schools that are making the best batteries, into EVs, into fucking EV planes. No. 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 Jesus. Uh, speaking of campaigns, uh, did you see that the Trump campaign is in trouble? They're being investigated right now by the FEC uh, because they tried to hide payments to women who were sexually harassed, uh, were gender harassed, were pregnancy harassed while they worked on the campaign. And the 
Trump campaign settled with these women, but instead of paying them direct, because that would have had to have been filed with the FEC, yeah. and that would have been, you know, uh, for public disclosure, yeah. they sent it through a law firm to have the law firm pay no. them. Uh, do we cheat them and how? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Ernest and Borgnine. Yeah, they're they're on the up and up. Um, how is anybody I, believing a word coming out of this guy? I have no idea. Yeah, man. But he I doesn't no stiff idea. kids. I believe this word, though. I believe this. Uh, recent yeah, campaign he rally. Good. <laughs> recent campaign rally. Trump cited Hannibal Lecter <laughs> as the late, great Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> and in a rambling speech that I think he was trying to compare undocumented uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, immigrants. Yeah, that's who they're sending us. Right? Remember they're sending us? It's the same. It's insane. It's insane. <laughs> so, and but I how mean, do you cite yeah. the late great Hannibal yeah. Lecter? And, who's and, not even yeah. a real fucking thing. No, it's no, like, and uh, I don't know. Just once, I, I and I still not even from the current administration either. Oh but God. what is the plan? Because we can't obviously, with especially with climate change, but especially also now immediately with the giant global drug trade. That's what dri that's what drives these migrations. Nobody's carrying their baby 800 miles to steal your fucking shitty job. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. They're scared oh. to death. Oh, I Because gotta... everybody else in their family got killed. Right? It's like... I, I saw a video today where a guy was like, so, they're taking our jobs. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, but they don't want to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, the Schrodinger's uh, migrant. Yeah. The job yeah. that you don't want. Yeah. The job that they don't do. <laughs> no, and that's the, that's why it's asylum, right? They're not signing yeah. up to be a guest worker or whatever. They're no. on a, an asylum. Oh my claim. god, it would be yeah, yeah just, right. It's like, uh, mm. but nobody's mentioning and this. Is where I was going with that in current administration as well. How do we work? to, to uh, solve that root cause. Right. Uh, right? A, a, quit buying cocaine, but uh, B, we got to find some way of, uh, I think that's it. Where's the, the 9.7 trillion those banks are fucking throwing around yeah. Yeah, yeah. to invest in Latin America? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to, for, for 21st century agriculture, 21st yeah. century server farms, uh, water desalinization, all these fucking things that need to happen, man. Man, it's not immediately profitable because right. nobody's doing it. Right. And we'd rather put a giant fucking wall. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. The wall doesn't work. Yeah. Right? The it's wall like, doesn't work anyway. Not really. Against, but you want to pay for the wall? citizens it does and poor migrants it does, but not against drugs. No. That's not stuff. They'll figure fucking, it out. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got Transformers fucking stand ins for it, man. <laughs> Right? Yeah. It's like uh, only in Thailand, just walking like, across. Only in Thailand. I'm telling you. <laughs> but but you want to pay for the wall? Go after yeah. the go after the big firms that hire undocumented immigrants yeah. whoa, and whoa, 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 whoa. charge yeah. them yes. the penalties that are already on the books that you yeah. could charge them. You could do that today. To go pay for the yeah. and then force them to set up guest sponsoring worker programs. Yeah. Like there's a nursery I went to uh, up north, I think in Redmond, and uh, we were installing a bunch of wireless access points and stuff all over the facility and they had uh portable housing uh like the i don't want to say portable they had uh like uh manufactured homes that they had brought in and they sponsor folks to come from wherever country they came from ecuador mexico i'm not sure um where they would work and live there to sure. make their money and then help them get home and then the following year they would help bring them back into the sure. country yeah. and they would sort of take responsibility for them while they're here. I think that was kind of an agricultural thing for many, many years. Yeah. Right? Well, that's what yeah. they're doing now and I don't know why we can't do that on a more large scale. I don't know. It's a really weird uh, environment for the just talking about it. Yeah. It's weird. You're, you're it's talking like, about that place that's on the other side of the, the valley from like Redmond, right? It's a big nursery. It's kind of it's, over by it's, 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 the it's, Red Hook yeah. and stuff, kind of in that general yeah, it's, Chateau it's, Saint Michel. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. like down the street from the Chateau Saint Michel, whatever it's called. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's almost it's almost it's almost Woodenville, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know it's different. Yeah, about. Like, big, about that way. big nursery, but it's a massive, yeah. lots of people working there. But they're all getting paid a fair wage. Yeah. They're all getting it's all above the housing support. It's right. all above Somebody board. gets hurt, they can call an ambulance, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can't just sweep them. You take them, you know, five miles out and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
don't know. I didn't go there. Put my... another myth. Right? Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, my it's God. It's just a hangnail. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to put you down, Yeller. Oh, my God. <laughs> my name's not Yeller. <laughs> okay, one one last Trump story, uh-huh. and then I'll give you a Biden uh-huh. one. Uh, Trump most likely double-dipped on uh, tax write-off to the IRS <laughs> yeah, yeah. on his Chicago building. Yeah. Did you see this? Uh, in two separate years, he used the same losses on two different uh, Trump entities, right? So he claimed all this loss in 2008, yeah. I think it was. And then two years later, another entity had taken sort of control title over yeah. the building and they claimed the exact same loss, um, a little bit less, but now, uh, it sounds like he may be, uh, owing the IRS around a hundred million dollars yeah. for this error. <laughs> oh my God. Right? It's just ridiculous. I'm, Every just time you turn around. Over, but it also shows, especially in civil stuff, I guess at some point with the IRS, it's criminal, right? Uh, I think so. But it just if you can afford an army of lawyers, you can just put yeah, it off, put it off put, it off, put that's it off, put it off. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's so, I mean, it's so. And if you have a judge or two in your pocket, it doesn't yeah. hurt. It's just, yeah, Eileen Cannon. Doesn't look hurt. at the two. Yeah. Boys, and can a, we just uh, get an impeach Eileen Cannon? Uh, I think so. That is Indeed. just absurd. It's just yeah, absolutely stupid. Uh, boys, uh, Mike, you might like this. There's a coffee shop in Kent, UK. Oh, so close! And they have decided that they're not going to give out cups anymore with their coffee. Mm. If you want coffee there, you have to bring your own cup. And this is to get rid of the waste, oh. uh, all the paper products, all the. If you want sleep. it to go, you bring if you want it to go, yeah, you bring yeah. your own cup in yeah. get it I think it's a fantastic yeah, idea yeah, yeah. everybody should own a no, friggin tumbler I drink a lot of or, coffee or, or buy one from them yeah. buy one yeah. there yeah, 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 if yeah. That. yeah and if they can sell a quality uh, 100% recycled whatever sure, sure, sure. nice or quality maybe Kent's got a ceramic shop or whatever something could, like that something yeah. like that would yeah, be yeah, great yeah. Yeah. some tie in with some local uh, yeah. potter Eddie I think Potter? it's a cool idea Eddie Potter it's always about <laughs> Eddie Potter and that's if you're in Kent, UK, or anywhere close by. It's Otto's Coffee Shop and Kitchen. Huh. Stop in and grab a cuppa. <laughs> yeah. 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 Grab a cup of Joe. Do they call it cup of Joe in UK? I don't, I don't know. Probably I don't think. Not. I think it's an American thing. Probably. Yeah, what do they call it in Ireland when you were there? Uh, just coffee. They call it whiskey. <laughs> it's whiskey. Yeah, they call it. It's whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's morning whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Hot morning whiskey. It's Jameson's way it is. Oh, yeah, which is fantastic, by the way. Oh, yeah, a little oh, snort my God. Of, uh, Jameson and a cup of black coffee. Uh, Wondrous. It's, it's, yeah, it's Wonderful. Delish. Uh, boys, somebody punched Steve Buscemi yeah, in man. New York City. And I just saw uh, today that they have a name associated, so they know who the guy is. <laughs> was it Rob Schneider? No, it was not. <laughs> Why, is Rob Schneider punching people? I don't no, know. no, just because they're both associated with, with Sandler, so. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Jackass. Yeah. Oh, we lost You're taking my job. <laughs> Uh, there's been a lot of random acts of violence in New York City where people are getting punched or yeah. they're just running up Fucking, and getting yeah. stabbed. So, somebody punched a um, um, dude from a... God. Do you think it's happening because they're celebrities or just in general? I don't know. Because the, there's I, been a few the guy, celebrities. The guy from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and Ghostbusters and I'm Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis. Moranis. Somebody the, attacked Rick Moranis. 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 Last year, yeah. They, oh, so my God. Knocked him the fuck out, too. That Damn. sucks. Oh, Jealousy's man. a bitch. Or, or um, they just are just random because there is just random. I mean, yeah, just random. They, they, shit, they, are, they are old white men, so it's a possibility that... <laughs> they thought they could get away with it. Yeah. Well, Boucher. Jimmy's 66. He's yeah. not, you know, he's Mr. A real, fucking Pink Man. Yeah, but he's not a real big dude. No, the guy not. that punched him, they showed uh, surveillance. He looked like he was cut. He looked like a big, strong dude. I guess Buscemi actually gave chase on this guy. He's good. For like, good on him. Yeah, no, he was a New York firefighter, man. Yeah, there was a video of uh, where he uh, he's like, no, I'm an actor. I, I I I'm not that guy from that movie. I'm not a I'm not a mafia boss. Yeah, I'm not I, a killer. I'm not a killer. <laughs> and, 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 he's, and it's Buscemi. Buscemi. 
Yeah, yeah, the whole thing was hilarious. Yeah, so Buscemi got like a black eye. He got a cut oh, on his man. head and that a bunch guy. of other stuff, which sucks. And he's just he's I, a national treasure. So that's I, why. I asked me, sick, who's punched a sixty-six year old dude. dude? Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? It's like kicking old ladies. And it shit. doesn't make you into a tough guy, but you see that once in a while. And when uh, the pandemic was gone, I remember hearing stories of like people attacking old Asian ladies and weird oh, that's shit. Right. Like, yeah, trying yeah. to blame. Oh. And, and I don't know if that was more prevalent then or just got more attention then because yeah. I mean they're really I've been sucker punched for nothing right but uh Except my good luck. <laughs> you probably yeah. look like somebody that you wanted yeah. to kill or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, something. But yeah. it just happens. Humans are unpredictable. That's why I guess what? Carry fucking weapons. Yeah. Because I live on Earth and humans are unpredictable. Yeah. No shit. And I'm old. So I can't just fist fight some 300 pound dude. So I'm going to fucking stab him in the fucking neck. Right? It's like, that's the, that's how it is, dude. Self defense is a paramount right. 300 pound dude, you've been yeah. warned. <laughs> yeah, I will not yeah. be pissed Or a group my... of children. <laughs> With a tiny fist of fury. <laughs> it's like that. Uh... Interesting fact. Did you know that a group of children is called a migraine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like that uh, uh, Dana Gould joke when he's saying, uh, why do boxers have to fight other boxers? Why can't Sugar Ray Leonard fight a Wolverine? Why can't uh, so-and-so fight 200 retarded schoolgirls? <laughs> Isn't that what the WCW is? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. So good. Ah, yeah. oh, Danny Gold, hats off, kid. <laughs> God, hey. Have you guys funny. seen his his, uh, his new thing where he's dressing up as Doctor Z? No, it's fantastic. Oh, really? It's oh, fantastic. yeah, he's great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's got those little five minute interviews, That's which are so great. So good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, speaking of so good, uh, Nicholas Cage is going to be a busy guy upcoming. He's voicing Superman in the upcoming Teen Titans. Go to the movies movie, um, which is coming out, I think, this year. And they're doing another one because he already did that. When did that come out? Like three or four years ago. It must be a new one because they just talked about it coming Cause, out. Because uh, that was uh, Teen Titans Go to the movie, I think, came out in 2018 or 2019. And then he had like a small part as the voice of Superman. Oh, okay. It's very, very long. But guess he's reprising maybe it or they're something. doing it again. Uh, that's cool. He's also doing uh, the Spidey Noir, Noir in uh, yeah. the uh, yeah. uh, Spider Verse. Yeah, that's like correct. Live action or anime? Yeah, well, he's doing both. Yeah. Well, he's doing both. Oh. Cause, so there's this part two coming out, which is uh, uh, the Miles Morales animated version. Right. And then he's got a live action show coming out on Prime and uh, Prime uh, Video and MGM Plus, hmm. where he's going to play that character. Nice. Um, I don't think they've started filming, so there's no word no, on it's when it's coming out, but it's very cool. Yeah. 1930s really detective. Like it. It so good. Yeah. My question is, is he going to be in the suit, or is he just going to be voicing the guy? I don't know. Well, I think... Uh, I think uh, uh, they're going to show him, but you mean when he puts on the suit? Yeah. I don't know. Just yeah. like, I guess Deadpool could be anybody. We know uh, who it is. Mandalorian. It could be. Yeah. Mandalorian could be anybody. Always, in yeah. fact, the Mandalorian wasn't always, uh, you know, uh, Pedro. Pedro Pascal. He was, I think he was only in the outfit once or twice. Oh, hmm. no, no. In, in the last So season. he's just the voice? Now he is. I mean, he was. What about uh, Grogu? Is Grogu really there? Is he in? <laughs> Grogu is <laughs> animatronic. He's like a uh, half million dollar puppet. It. Oh man! He's uh, my so, best friend. Uh, set in the 1930s New York, and it follows down on his luck private investigator who is forced to grapple with his past life as the, as the city's one and only superhero. Hmm. So, I mean, I'm gonna watch the heck out of that. that just it's, yeah. Oh yeah, Nick yeah. Cage. I, I'm pro Nick Cage. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. He is such yeah. a hit and miss kind of thing. Sure. But when I, he hits, he's the he hits. Of actors. <laughs> yeah. He's he like, really, is that a script over there? Is that really a script? Is. Right in the uh, circular file. Like, okay, no, I, I I know a lot of people didn't like the Ghost Rider movies, but I really enjoyed those. Plus, I like him in the uh, the tre- the National Treasure movies as well. Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Fucking great in those. Yeah, uh, The Rock and uh, Con Air, as corny as they are, are two oh. of my all-time favorite yeah. action movies. So, jeez, yeah, yeah, jeez, what yeah. is my favorite Nick Cage moonlighting? Moonlight. 
<laughs> no one. No, with uh, Cher. Yeah, with Cher. Is it Moonlighting? What's the name of that? Uh, Moonstruck. Moonstruck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Cher. Yeah. Uh, Moonlighting. I don't was, know. Uh, I yeah. do like uh, was Bruce in Colorado oh. Space, but I think my favorite Nick Cage of all time is Nick Cage as Nick Cage in uh, The Unbearable. No, way. I haven't seen I it did, yet. I oh, it's a delight. Okay. It is just delightful. You know what? You should watch it this weekend, and we can do an art oh. town review. Oh, no, sure. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's just it's, it's fun. Really it's really funny. Just fun. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. he's having a blast. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Raising Arizona oh, was great. Yeah. I, never thought I was thinking about that because I read a thing with a about Randall Tex Cobb, mm-hmm. who's the foil in Raising Arizona. Right. He's the biker guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Con Air and and uh, The Rock are two of the yeah. most quotable action movies. I mean, you want to talk quotable? There's so many great, stupid one-liners in there. I need to rewatch those because I haven't it's seen those in a very long time. Yeah. Any idea who directed? Uh, Bay did one of them, All I right. believe. The Rock. Was it The Rock? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Just over the top cornball stuff. But I just love that he's like, uh, like there's a dude that's already been shot. Something fell on him, and, but his <laughs> nerves are still going. And he's like, I can deal with this nerve gas and all this stuff. But what in the name of Zeus's butthole <laughs> is that? <laughs> wait, wait. Zeus's butthole? What in the name of Zeus's butthole? <laughs> nice. Ah, it's just right. stuff like that. Is that, is that Con Air? Or is that, uh, for Con Air. I've got them both on DVD oh, right. if anybody needs oh, to buy them. Nice. Oh, no, I bet that's on a local yeah, it's streaming gotta service. Be on something. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, Kate. And he is Coppola's nephew. Nephew, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. But yeah, he was a sex symbol back in the day, dude. Yeah, Which was. is weird because he's not a handsome boy. Well, how dare you? <laughs> now he won't come on the show, yeah. Charles. So, yeah. I recently, in the last year, watched the movie uh, Valley Girl, which I mm-hmm. oh, yeah, that might have been his start, right? I think it was. Yeah. No, his first first starring role, but it was not his first movie because yeah. his first movie was Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was one of the stoner guys, but uh, oh, you and know. then that he was he was actually Nicholas Coppola. But uh, ah. anyways. In in uh, in Valley Girl, there's actually a remake too, which is not a bad one. But um, in the original one, the, the one of the girls in that is a voice actress who is like Tommy Pickles on uh, the, on Rugrats and oh, one of yeah. the Powerpuff Girls. She's done a bunch. She was Dottie in, in the in the uh, uh, Pee Wee Herman movie. So, oh nice. yeah, nice. Yeah, and you, you, it's full frontal in, in Valley Girl. If you've never seen it, go watch it. Man, well, speaking of '90s movies, guys, I came across an article that yeah. talked about uh, the list of the worst movies of the '90s. So I dug this out, and they base this on Rotten Tomatoes, whether you like it or not. Um, and I wanted to see how we felt about this top twenty list, kind of going down Hook down the list. Be on this list, North Spawn. Well, so number twenty, uh, Hook that. Todd is mentioning uh, the uh, that's uh, Dustin Hoffman, right? Dustin Hoffman is yeah. Captain Hook, and uh, Robin Williams, Robin Williams yeah. is a uh, that one of the, the Peter top Pen- twenty worst? It's number twenty. It got oh. a twenty nine percent Rotten Tomatoes. I haven't seen that movie in years, but uh, I remember either, thoroughly right? enjoying it. Sure, yeah. thoroughly enjoying it. Yeah, and that was pre CGI. Is that a Spielberg production? It is. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I'm not buying that, and I don't know if I ever saw it, but I find it. T- Terribly difficult to believe. So the, the, that basics that. Of the, the basics of the story is Peter Pan went back to civilization and grew up and be, and was uh, Wendy. He and Wendy hooked up and had kids and grandkids and whatever else. And uh, our, no, he went back and Wendy had grown up and become an old woman and he started to, to see Wendy's granddaughter. And they had family. And then. Hmm. Uh, he goes back to Neverland as a middle-aged man, and uh, he doesn't remember he's Peter Pan. Is the thing? Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, America's Sweetheart played Tinkerbell. I think that's why I got such a low rating. Uh, redhead, I, uh, pretty woman. Uh, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts yeah. plays Tinkerbell. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Uh, that's probably why I got 29. Uh, at number 19, The Flintstones. And I don't know that I've seen this all the way through. I think I've seen I parts of it. I think I was on drugs. <laughs> Uh, because it's uh, uh, well, that describes about half of your I, life. I, 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 I did see it in theaters. I did like it in theaters. I thought it was uh, Rick Moranis as Barney yes, and, and, and John Goodman. And John right? Goodman as Fred. 
fucking perfect. Oh, and and uh, Rosie O'Donnell's Betty. So oh, Betty Rubble and yeah. and, and uh, Perkins. Um, like Elizabeth Perkins. Elizabeth Perkins no. was Wilma. Yeah. Was Wilma. Yeah. I have vague because they made two of them, right? Mm. Yeah, but it wasn't the same people in the sequel. Oh, okay. I have vague recollections of it, but I don't know that I saw. It. Like I may have watched it on basic cable years ago yeah, and I, caught parts of I it. I honestly would recommend watching it because it's it's not it's not a bad movie. I don't know why it's on this list. I mean, it, it, well, yeah. I mean, it was goofy because it's that's the way the cartoon was. Yeah. And you know, well, because it's kind of honeymooners, but it was, not, it, yeah, not quite yeah. as adult as honeymooners. Yeah, it was, yeah and it was well, sort of uh, John Goodman it, it, talking like Fred Flintstone too, yeah, right? Yeah, With uh, that yeah, same yeah, cadence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, is like legitimate. Like the Flintstones was the original prime time cartoon before the yeah. Flintstones, before yeah. the Simpsons. And, uh, was they, it the first color show on TV? No, oh. uh, but it was it was the first animated uh, yeah, prime an, time animated prime show. Prime, yeah. prime time cartoon for adults because they did they did advertisements in the cartoon and they they, they advertised cigarettes and oh, beer yeah. and all kinds of okay, other but, shit. But everybody was smoking. You're smoking and drinking <laughs> in the delivery room and shit. Yeah. You know, <laughs> baby <laughs> care. So, here you go, those, little kid. Those two <laughs> do not do. Actually, a lot of these don't deserve. Yeah, yeah probably not. Yeah, uh, Spawn is number. There's some really awful films from the nineties. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, awful. Yeah, and we'll get to some of them are on this list. Right. But uh, Spawn, nineteen ninety seven, eighteen percent Rotten Tomatoes. Mm. Uh, that was the one with uh, Martin Sheen as the bad guy, right? Yeah. And, yeah I want to uh, say John Leguizamo is in there. Yeah, yeah. He's, cl- he's uh, the clown. Yeah. And yeah, Jai, that's right. uh, what was the what was Spawn's? Uh, uh, Michael Jai White. Michael Jai White. Is it Michael Jai White? Yeah. Jeez, who's a really underrated yeah. action guy? Big time. He's yeah. fantastic. In this, I mean, I think Todd McFarlane didn't like the movie because, well, he didn't have much to do with it. But mm. um, I liked it. I fucking loved it. It was like it was like the first superhero movie that was fucking brutal. It was yeah, it was yeah, yeah. it was it, it made Batman look like it was you know Adam West Batman, super mm. cheesy and whatnot. It was super yeah. hardcore. It, I think it's just a hard thing to pull out Spawn in particular without CGI. Oh, yeah. they did. Yeah, for there practical a, effects, it'd be pretty difficult. Not impossible, a, but difficult. There was a lot. Of, the the cape was ninety percent CGI. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So just yeah. kind of early on in the yeah. CGI world. Like anytime yeah. you saw the the cape moving, that wasn't real. Huh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that was ninety seven. I'm, I'm gonna try to watch that one again. That was nineteen ninety seven. Ninety seven. I love the fuck. I actually bought that DVD. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of comic book heroes, number seventeen is Judge Dredd with uh, uh, Sylvester yeah. Stallone, and that was pretty bad. I mean, it's it pretty was pretty bad. It's yeah. Yeah. Stallone and Schneider. Rob Schneider is his oh, sidekick. You're right. Was it Rob Schneider? It was. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. And he, I don't know. He, he, yeah, it's and uh, yeah, the bad guy's cool though. I forgot his name. The German uh, dude. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. All I know is that he act, he openly mocks Stallone's voice. Nice. <laughs> Which was, Schneider does. Yeah, it was <laughs> so funny. That's like the one yeah, thing no, he did in that whole movie <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, that, I did like the newer one. I thought that was good yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that. it all. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I don't remember. That was the kid from uh, the big. Uh, uh, damn, uh, yeah. Dominic, not Dominic. Uh, no, and it's it's the dude who put. That's the guy who put. It's the guy who plays the new version of Bones in the JJ track. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And Carl, uh, he's he's butcher on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy yeah, Butcher, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm trying oh, to think of his name. He was in uh, the Thor movies and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, the dude with all yeah. the weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. two double yeah. M16. Yeah. And you know what's really funny is a lot of people don't know this, but he was Cupid on uh, on Hercules. Oh, right. right. Yeah, we talked about and that blonde before. Hair. Yeah. 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 Blonde hair. Blonde hair. He looked like, like a California surfer dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at number 16, never saw this, 1990, The Bonfire of the Vanities. I, never I did think see I it. saw it, but yeah. it's, it's Tom Hanks and Bruce Willis. Yeah, based and, on a uh, famous novel. I yeah. Know. I know my mom liked that one yeah. yeah i remember 16 percent uh i actually thought this was kind of fun just because this was like your first introduction to antonio banderas uh assassins i uh, 95 i watched some huh. film parts of that movie oh yeah because they did yeah, it here in, in seattle, seattle. Well, right? yeah, yeah, they, they filmed yeah. a large a large portion of it here in seattle they filmed the the, the first uh night we went out to watch them film they were filming in the alaska way viaduct for the chicago scenes in the movie uh, and uh, uh and that is um that was directed by um 
<sighs> the guy who did Superman, um, Richard, uh, Dawson, uh, yeah. yeah, Richard, um, yeah. God, I can't think of a yeah, not Dawson. That's the, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that guy. <laughs> who did the Superman? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But Assassin's got 15%. Uh, oh, man. Uh, but yeah, I just remember uh, Assassin's. Uh, Antonio Banderas was the bad guy, and he was trying mm-hmm. to take uh, Sylvester Stallone's top assassin yeah. ranking yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. And there was a lot of early email uh, nice. chat <laughs> stuff, yeah, uh, kind of stuff. But uh, yeah. I don't remember. It was a uh, what's her face? Uh, 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 Sharon Stone was she in that? Mm, I don't think I don't that, no, that wasn't Sharon Stone. It was um, somebody else. Right? Yeah, but another we, gal. <laughs> yeah, but we we watched the chase, the car chase sequences through the Alaska Wave viaduct in mm. in, in Donner. That's his name, Richard Donner. Yes, Donner actually came up to us and says, "Hey, you, you know, I know you guys want to watch, but can you stand over there?" And we went over to where he told us to go, and like ten minutes later, security came by and said, "You guys gotta get." Uh, uh, that was the whole. <laughs> but yeah, now Donner was cool. Yeah, he let us, he let us watch as long as we were not in in, in train. Yeah, so. yeah man. Uh, coming in number fourteen, Carrot Tops, the chairman of the board. I never Still did don't see even this. Remember that exists. Ninety-seven. I, uh, I, I thought it was hilarious, but then again, I like Carrot Tops. Yeah, so. got a thirteen uh, percent uh, Rotten Tomato. It, it's basically his uh, his. Dad runs like a, a toy company and he dies and he's left the company and he's like the be now he's the CEO. He, or he's whatever. like the be like uh he's he's like the be adult man child of of a corporate CEO of a massive company. And Does he just constantly doing like prop humor? Yeah. Throughout yeah. Uh, it I mean, was it was super goofy. It was like it was on par with like a like um. Uh, Pee Wee Herman, as far as like all the goofy mm. shit. Jeez, I've never even heard of it. Yeah. Oh, uh, coming in at number twelve from nineteen ninety seven at ten percent, uh, Batman and Robin, the uh, Clooney, uh, the, the uh, nipple O'Donnell, years. the nipple years, Schwarzenegger, Alicia Silverstone. Joel Schumacher is a hack. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> yes and no. He 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 he, he tried to like make it more. Can't be because it was too dark apparently, hmm. and uh, he wanted to make it more uh, comic bookish. He yeah. wanted to make, make it more closer, oh, reasonably, yeah. uh, be, be 66. Mr. Freeze. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, closer to yeah, but without the joy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but, like, yeah, there's something might, special about the '66 Batman. There yeah. really is. He, you got to keep in mind though that uh, uh, Schumacher did give us uh, the Lost Boys. So he did. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Uh, coming in at number eleven, guys. Number eleven, uh, Beverly Hills Cop Three from 1994 got 10 percent Rotten Tomatoes. Mm. Um, I just remember him going to a fake Disneyland. Uh, Axel Foley. I, I think it was. Um, um, uh, Six Flags, I think. Or was it Six Flags? It was either Six Flags or it was uh, uh, Knott's Berry Farm. I thought it was supposed mm-hmm. to be like a Wally World uh, kind of a fake uh, Disneyland. But, well, yeah, but I think they actually filmed it. Filmed it there. They filmed it at Six Yeah, because the first something. one, he battled the... Uh, I kind of remember. I think I it was the South African uh, drug lord. Oh, it was the art artist... Uh, cocaine guy hmm. and then the second one was Bridget Nielsen nice. and uh, then this one I don't even know I'm not going to fall for the banana with the tailpipe trick again what's funny is that all those guys are coming back and the, and the next one is coming out <laughs> are they really I don't, but more Bridget Nielsen please well, well, no, and Bridget no, Nielsen not in every single film ever. not anymore She's, uh, uh, no, no, she was in the newest or one of the new Creed movies where Creed she did is show fighting. up because yeah. uh, yeah. Creed is fighting Drago's son. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not a good film. No, not great. Not great. Uh, number 10, guys, uh, from 1994 with 8% Rotten Tomatoes milk money. Anybody? I have no idea what that yeah. is. Yeah. I don't either. Uh, oh, I don't have a number nine. Uh, oh. I don't know what happened to my number nine. Uh, well, number eight, uh, Vanilla Ice himself, uh, 1991, 8% it cool was, as ice. It was, it was, no, it was dumb. It was a quick movie. Throw a quick, throw a quick movie sure, together. Sure, sure. Honestly, I think they didn't have enough for 20, so they just started throwing random movies from the 90s into this list. 
Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't remember that existing. Yeah. It was terrible. I didn't see it in theaters, but I did watch it on cable, and it was yeah. god-awful. Yeah. Uh, number seven, uh, Bill Cosby himself, Ghost 1990, dad, yeah. 7% uh, Ghost Dad. I don't think I've ever saw he that. He admitted that uh, is like a, is a, like a workaholic, I and mean, he ended up dying, and then like... Ghost, up, ghost raping it, women. It, it, <laughs> no, he ends up like coming back as a ghost and like you know trying to help what his a kids out or something. Rapist piece of shit. What slipping, a shame. Slipping what a shame. Uh, quaaludes into yeah. their because Bill Cosby pop. himself is one of the funniest records yeah. of all time. Yeah, no. Oh, it's a destroyer. But you can't Dude. listen to it anymore. Uh, no, his bit about just like, like I'm not watching Roman Polanski dog shit because I would fight him if I saw him on the street. Yeah. And Bill Cosby too. I would pull a <laughs> Steve Buscemi yeah. on. Dude, uh, the the one time like yeah. he absolutely killed me was I was in the dentist office getting some work done and this is in the nineties so the dentist had the headphones and you can listen to any like so- satellite radio and I was listening to comedy and he was it was a bit where he was talking about his son about how he got the car in the driveway with no gas. <laughs> <laughs> how to get the car in the driveway and there's no gas in the car zero. Did you did you roll it down the hill and just park it or? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, back when gas was 15 cents a gallon. <laughs> He's doing the joke. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, at number six, boys, from 1997 with 7%, uh, Leslie Nielsen uh, uh, did Mr. Magoo. Uh, yeah, which Don't I'm sure I went one? to see because I yeah. love Mr. Leslie Magoo. Nielsen. Oh, oh what Mr. Magoo. Yeah. 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 Well, I love Mr. Magoo because it's uh, my favorite voice actor. Yeah, that's but, uh, true. That's true. But, uh, but uh, Leslie's just Ooh. a delight. Yeah. Speaking of Leslie yeah, Nielsen. Because it's Thurston... Uh, yeah, first and half the third. Yeah, well, speaking of Leslie Nielsen and like uh, the uh, what was what was it uh, the cop movies he did? Die Hard. Oh no, sorry. Uh, uh, oh, geez, yeah, yeah, geez, yeah. Uh, because they're no, coming out with on, a new one with Liam Neeson, right? Yeah. Naked Gun. Naked Gun. Naked Gun. Naked yeah. Gun is they're doing Naked squad. Gun with, 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 yeah, Police Cop was a TV series that spawned yeah. the movies. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Liam Neeson is <laughs> taking up the character. So nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, boys at number five from 1992, his third appearance on this list with 4%, Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. Uh, he so. actually says it in the movie, too. Does yeah. he really? Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. Oh, that's so yeah. bad. And that was... Uh, Estelle Estelle Getty. Getty. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. In, in the height of the like, Golden Girls. Too. Yeah, jeez. Yeah. she's tiny and adorable and little yeah. tiny. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. Uh, but uh, what he was turning out just a bunch of shit movies, man. <laughs> like yeah. Cobra. Paychecks. Yeah. yeah, but they were big budget they were, productions, yeah. and man. He was one of the biggest stars ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is why the Expendables are so cheesy and, and god awful, but at yeah. the same time, really fun to watch. Yeah. yeah. And then Everybody keeps coming back because they're getting paid. The yeah. check is clearing every and they're single making, time. And the movies are making money. Yeah. So. And so, hallelujah. I got no money yeah. for that guy. Uh, coming in number four, 1992, 4%. And I thought this was a cool concept, but uh, it's been forever since I've seen it. But Cool World with Brad Pitt. Oh, it's the not partially that. animated. Yeah, it's a Rob Bakshi film. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's like the adult version of Who, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's Kim Basinger, I think. Yeah. Oh, she plays yeah, the, the, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's not terrible. No, that's another one and I probably rest, need to research. And the rest of the movies on this list are straight to video movies, too. Uh, I think Speed 2 was uh, out. Uh, number three, Mortal Kombat Annihilation from 1997 that, got 3%. That was a direct video release. Was it? Yeah. Uh, number two, Speed 2 Cruise Control, 1997, yeah, 3%. That, that was Patrick, uh, Jason Patrick rather than Keanu Reeves, but hmm. uh, Sandra Bullock came back and it was Speed on a Cruise Ship. Yeah, uh-huh. it, was going, it was going five knots. Yeah, but if you can't stop it, it's still a problem. I guess just yeah. turn it out to see. Uh, did we get to see Sandra in a bathing suit? Uh, probably. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I, I right. just remember the movie not being nearly really as good as the, as the first one. Yeah. Yeah. The first one's fine. And Dennis Hopper is just Dennis crazy. Hopper was a great, he plays a great maniac. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But I, and I do like Sandra Bullock. I really do. Yeah, yeah. I do too. So. And then topping this list from 1999 at 2%, Baby Geniuses. And I think it was just geniuses. babies that people lended voices to because baby. they were like they, live action babies. They yeah, were, they were live action babies that they they, anima- <laughs> they animated their they feet. Feed a peanut butter. They go. 
<laughs> Mr. Ed's done. It was because it was because it was because of the uh, John Travolta who's talking, talking, yeah. Because, uh, okay. because of how popular uh, that was, yeah. they decided he to make this. Remember that? Yeah. Oh my and, god. And, and, and they put it, so, <laughs> so these these kids would act like they're normal babies when no one's looking, and then when like it was basically like Rugrats. You know, when sure. the adults were not around, they were talking, yeah, walking, yeah, getting yeah, Rugrats around. was clever. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rugrats was better than yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, and Gutenberg. Yes. Remember, Gutenberg yeah. was a huge Man. star. Yeah. Huge. I know he pops up once in a while, but... The, uh, last, the last two movies I saw Gutenberg in were, they were sci-fi channel movies called Lava Lantula and Lava... <laughs> And and the sequel was called Two Lava Two Lava. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about it's about these, these giant spiders that are made of lava, and they spit instead of, instead of spitting yeah. webbing, they yeah. spit lava. Oh, man. Well, that's a problem. And, 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 and it gets better, folks. Yeah. And he he's playing a he's playing an old hacky like action hero. He's like, nice. And he's like out of oh, work. Right, and he's trying right. to like get back into working again. Wait, what is this? Lava Lantula. I'm watching it for sure. I, I, uh, I so have. when he's when he's negotiating to oh. be in this film, <laughs> right? Oh, it's, 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 he's not the only one from the police academy movies that are in this movie. Oh man, um, is Michael like, Wincott in it? Well, Michael Winslow's in it, oh, and, uh, right. and uh, <laughs> the, the little black lady who couldn't talk or was very oh, quiet. Oh, the real quiet lady. Yeah, she yeah. did it, and then the the, the, blo- the one with the giant bosom, she's also in it as well. Oh yeah. man. I wonder if it's like Gutenberg's nephew. That's his directorial debut uh, or whatever, and he needs some names. No, he's sitting there going, "Okay, we're going to pay you fifty thousand dollars. It's going to be one week worth of work." What it what it was is those guys were all at like a convention in L.A., like a local, like a small con that's in this in the building, like we're going to have this weekend. And somebody from Sci Fi Channel says, "Hey, we have this idea for like a sci fi like horror." Can we get y'all? And uh, you know. You know, we'll, we'll have you play the main part because, you know, you're the most recognizable out of all of you kind of thing. I don't know if that's... I'm guessing. I don't know. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, because he... Uh, Gutenberg had Police Academy. Yeah. All of, at least one through three. Three men and a little lady three men and a all, baby. And the three men and a baby thing was... He, where they're all so posing huge. on the cover. It's selling. Good night. Ted Danson? Ted Danson, Ted Danson. Danson. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. It was huge. Yeah. Good night, yeah. sweetheart. Good I mean, night. America was on cocaine. Oh, man. There's no yeah. other explanation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then he disappeared, kind of. Um, and then he, then he, and then he reappeared stuff. as yeah. a science teacher on the Goldbergs. No, I didn't see the Goldbergs. No. Oh, the Goldbergs was a great show. It was a, it's every episode was a every episode had a themed like uh, remember this in the eighties, and then uh, the one with uh, Steve Gutenberg showing up as a, the science teacher. They there was an episode where Adam was all about the, the police academy movies, and he was like mm. recreating the movie with his grandpa in the backyard. Hmm. And, and uh, yeah, so every time there's a every time there's a themed episode, somebody from that thing. They're doing makes a cameo. It's like there was an episode where they did weird science, and the guy who played Gary was in the. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, man, yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, that's their worst top '90s movies. We're actually going to do our top '90 movies, top five? '90s top right. five, in our bonus round, which you can find on Patreon, Patreon. or at the uh, website in the members only section. Dude, so get it. in there and yeah, subscribe, you totally. suckers. Yeah. Jeez, it's guilt free. Yeah, it really is. Uh, boys, sharing is caring. Any new television shows, books, uh, movies, mm. uh, radio I programs. Just, I just found out yesterday. That thing, the 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 the, the re- continuation of Quantum Leap has been canceled. It's not uh, getting a third season. I'm bummed because it was it was the beginning of season two was kind of slow, but it picked up towards the end, and I I enjoyed the show. I was hoping to see them continue the story, and at, at some point maybe Bacula would show up in, in one of the episodes where they're they're bouncing through history. And they bump into him someplace randomly. Did the uh, season end? 
Yeah. Have they, are they, they done they, filming? They, they finished season two. It ended in January. Oh, okay. Did it, it, it end in a way that it seemed like it was okay? I have to go back and rewatch because I don't remember how it yeah, ended. Yeah, no cliffhanger. That drives me crazy. It's yeah, like, oh, when it's, it's a cliffhanger, and then yeah. they say, yeah, we're not going to do it anymore. It's too expensive. Yeah, it sucks. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, bummed so, about that. Yeah. Uh, guys, I started watching uh, a show that's filmed in Ireland uh, in the Dublin area. It's called Bad Sisters. It came out a couple of years ago. Mm. It's about... Uh, a group of five sisters, all adults, uh, varying ages, and uh, one of their uh, husbands, who's a complete prick, they call him the prick in the show, um, he dies, and uh, it's sort of alluded that the four sisters that were not married to him uh, figured out a way to kill him off because mm-hmm. he was so bad. For, he was yeah. just an asshole to his wife. Uh, controlling, emotionally abusive, don't have haven't seen any physical abuse, but uh, emotionally and uh, psychologically abusive to her. So it's kind of alluded that maybe the sisters uh, took him out. Um, and it's got some fairly recognizable faces, like half of the actors I've seen before in something, but they're not super household names. Mm. Uh, but we watched the first episode, and it's really good. Um, Bad Sisters, I think it's on Apple TV, so you mm. probably have to have that. But uh, um, a good show. I think it's six or eight episodes. Um, so if you can check it out, we're gonna finish watching it and, and let you know. Uh, I just I was just looking to see if there was anything else I forgot. Um, the last two episodes of Young Sheldon aired tonight. So you can probably find it on Paramount Plus if you're not watching it. And that's the end of Young Sheldon. Yep, the oh. end of Young Sheldon as far as that goes. But apparently, uh, the his brother who just got married to the woman he got pregnant in last season. They're continuing on with uh, with a different show. Oh, that's it. So that that'll be the third spinoff from uh, the third show, but the second spinoff of uh, yeah. the hmm. you know Big Bang Theory. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, I did. I've never watched any Big Bang no, or I mean, Children or anything like that. Honestly, I, I think both shows are hilarious in a, in a lot of ways. There's there was a few episodes of Big Bang Theory was it was rough to watch, but overall, I really enjoyed it. It. Uh, it poked fun at uh, the geek community in, in, in a way that I thought was not like, it wasn't punching down. At least I, sure, didn't, sure. I, I didn't see it that way. I know a lot of people who, who hated uh, how how Sheldon was basically treated on the show. Like, uh, he's uh, clearly on the spectrum, but they don't ever talk about it. It's never mentioned, um, but he's, he's the awkward one. He's the one who doesn't get social cues, and all the nerd friends... They're also awkward and weird, but they're not as awkward and weird as he is. Mm. So a lot of the jokes are at his expense. Mm. No. So that's why a lot of people did that, and they think that the canned laughter is is like not uh, is yeah. is not real. Um, it's uh, well, I found out that there was an audience, and they but they were told when to laugh. So mm. no. it wasn't it wasn't mechanical. It wasn't recorded. No, a candy act they call it. Uh, mm. Uh, is it the same creative team throughout? You know, uh, Ch- uh, Chuck Lorre is like, right, right. was in yeah. in the the original um, Big Bang Theory, and he's one of the creators of Young right. Sheldon. And I don't know if he's part of the third or the third show. Hmm. I, mean, I don't know what the name of the new show is. It's it's George Georgie and so and so. I can't remember her Mandy. Yeah, Georgie and Mandy and their new new life or something like that. Hmm. But uh, no, it's uh, and then. Um, the season finale of uh, X Men '97 happened yesterday, hmm. and I, I caught this. I don't know if anybody else did. If anyone else was watching, but they don't have speaking parts. But Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson make an appearance. That's in the great. Final episode. So hopefully, this means that we might get a, that, yeah, we might get a revival yeah. of Spider Man from the '90s. That would nice. be great. Mike, what about you? Any new uh, Well, we're movie in the shows? process of moving. Yeah. So I just want to give everybody some un-asked-for uh, advice. Okay, please. Um, paint is expensive. Yeah. And primer is cheaper. Yeah. So uh, we're using a good paint, but prime first. Especially if you're going over a darker color and you're going to put a lighter color up. No matter what you're doing. Prime yeah. first. Prime it'll first. save you time and money, guaranteed. Uh, and it'll just look better. So prime uh, first. Yeah. 
That's all I got. That's, That's all you got. Yeah. Well, ending on something positive, boys. I think Sammy Hagar said it best when he said, uh, and unfortunately it hasn't been that way today, but uh, summer nights in my radio. Well, that's all we need, baby. Don't you know? <laughs> we celebrate when the gang's all here. Ah, hot summer nights. That's my time of the year. Nice. <laughs> ah, Sammy. <laughs> Sammy. Whoa. What is happening in what? Renton, everybody? Somebody ran a red light. Yeah, the sure. Toyota ran a red light and almost hit the other guy. Man, we almost had it captured on, on video. Yeah, that geez. would have been great. Oh, yeah, what a freaking This idea. show would have been in a yeah, court a case somewhere. Exactly right. <laughs> the people's court. Subpoenaed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're all called to testify. Uh, oh, man. Man. All right, folks. Well, uh, again, don't forget to go subscribe. Uh, go to Patreon. Yeah. Go to the uh, Our Town website. Uh, sign up. Totally worth. We love you. Comment, yes. share, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dogs. Yeah. Your dogs are sitting home alone with nothing to do. No, Put our show our on. They would they love would us. Know. If you've never seen a dog do knee slap fucking laughter, oh it's, worth it. it's worth it. It's worth the price. Yeah. So we appreciate you being here, and we'll see you uh, next week. Okay. Bye. Bye. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you think this episode is worth a dollar or five bucks, the boys would love to have it. Please go to ourtownpod.store for merch or to donate now. For less than a cup of coffee, you can also join the website in the member-only area for exclusive bonus content, blogs, and more. It's just $3 a month or $30 a year. Thank you for listening to this production of Our Town Podcast Extraordinaire.